Like, why do you have all the glass in here? I mean, besides for the fact that it's my business? Yeah. Um, because I'm a professional hoarder. <laughs> Shout out to Corey Shapiro, man. He supplied these shades, you know what I'm saying? You can either go big, mm. or you can go T-Pain. Vintage frame, sign fire. Vintage frame, set me up with some dope-ass glasses, man. Shout out Corey Shapiro and fucking Vintage Frames. I don't know what you're doing right now, but you should stop looking at this and go to Vintage Highway. <laughs> How did the collaboration happen? Um, I got a DM from Gary. Sometimes DMs are ridiculous things. Sometimes they're nudes, sometimes they're business. So I didn't think he was sending me a nude. He proposes the opportunity, he got on the call with the team. We've been working on it for a long time, actually. It has taken much longer to do this project than it normally takes us, because there's been a lot of revisions in it, which shows that we put a lot more you know, care into it. We needed to make sure that every single element was spot on. What's up, this is Wale, live from Montreal, rocking with the Vintage Frames Company. They gave me something good, they can give you something better. Peace. Okay, so let me show you around. So in stock, we have between 1.2 and 1.5 million designer vintage frames. The average optical company has maybe 10 different lenses. We have 420 custom lenses. It's more than any lens manufacturer that, that's ever existed even. So I don't normally let people go in here. In here, there's about at least 500,000 pieces of designer vintage. Every era, Donna Karen, DKNY, Christian Dior, all by models, everything. This is like the complete history of eyewear. Some people might have one or two pieces. We own the whole commodity. Welcome to the wonderful world of vintage frames. Every environment that we create is a different environment, is a different experience. So whatever city you go to, you will enter a different world. So you saw the brands being prepared to come here, and here's where you see them today. Vintage Balenciaga, Nina Ricci, Armani's, Yves Saint Laurent, Christian Roth, one of the first Dior's, Parasol, bring you then into Hilton's, where we take our vintage glasses, which are meant for optical, and we add our lenses to it, where it becomes this Frankenstein of a vintage and a new pairing together. You then continue on into my favorite section, which starts at some of the more wearable editorial glasses from Elton John, from Rihanna from the Run This Town video, Jeremy Scott, Yves Saint Laurent, Versace, Gucci. So if you see the way that the flow of the store, in any given one of our stores, we will have different merchandise completely, but it will always be presented in an era form. Man, you flexing in there, but- Stop and player. Oh, I'm so excited about this right here. This really means a lot. We're not a regular glasses company. We believe that glasses are supposed to fit your personality. And how do we combine the ideology of this forthright flamingo, Gary's purity and integrity and ours all into a glass. And you know, a lot of times collaborations feel forced and I think that it's refreshing on both of our ends. It's more about the culmination, the 360 of the whole program and what it means. And it's a dope glass. Like, don't really care what anyone says, that shit is crazy. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. The collaboration logo, the VF Vintage Frames and the VF V Friends, V Friends Community. The V Friends, fourth right Flamingo, 24 karat gold, drill mount with the pink multi-flash lens, 13 colors in one, Flamingo decors. Every glass has a story and a message, which sets it apart from the other glasses in the series and the other glasses in the world. And this is not only indicative of a frame of mind, an NFT obviously that already exists and an IP that's gonna carry forward. It's the meaning of culture as well as businessmen. It really brings everything full circle. So it has a bulletproof story and feeling and quality to it. And we are right here outside of what is about to become our first US location, which will be opening during Art Basel in Miami with our friend, Mr. Gary V, who will be coming here to unveil and launch our V Friends Vintage Frames collaboration. We've been collecting a collection, curating a collection that when it comes out here is gonna be the craziest vintage collection that anyone's ever seen. And we're gonna bring our culture, which is a melting pot of different historical events and historical items, 
to Miami, we got a lot of surprises for the opening. So be here, make sure you get here early. I warned you. And if you show people this video, maybe we'll get you out of line quicker. <laughs>